Hi guys, well here's what I'm working on today. I know what you're thinking, that doesn't look like an air conditioner. Uh, well, because it's not. And I really honestly don't have much experience working on or doing the repair that I'm attempting. Uh, what we've got here is a 97 Ford Explorer two-wheel drive with a 4R70W transmission in it. And the short story is that I'm missing second gear. Shifts in drive will rev out first a little long, shift right to third, and then the downshift uh, from third will kind of skip second and go right back to first. Fourth gear overdrive works fine. So, I'll take you along for the ride here, show you my diagnostic procedures. I've got to give thanks to the automotive super techs out there. Number one, Scanner Danner, without you doing your videos, I never would have gotten this far with the diagnostics. Um, as you can see, first thing he'll teach you is do some research and get some direction. Alright, and this is where my diagnostic actually began. You guys probably haven't seen one of these in a while. Um, this is the scan tool that I own. I bought it used. I have an older car. And so far it's done basically what I need to do. Um, so just to take you quickly through the steps that I did with the scan tool. So here's the first steps I took. Grabbed out this old brick scan tool here. Let's see if I can get it to focus. And this is where you can see which gear the PCM is commanding. And that would shift to drive two, and she would not shift. So at that point, I know my PCM is commanding second gear. And this is also where I can check a lot of my inputs. Um, the trans range did seem to work. It, still, it sees all the gears. The vehicle speed sensor works. Output shaft speed sensor seems to work everything seems to work fine so that's what uh, basically now we need to start doing some more electrical troubleshooting here and that's what led me to the PC in it out this is the electronic portion of the transmission and um, this connector is buried I cannot get to it where it plugs into the transmission. The only other way would be drop the pan. Uh, so, we're going to come up here to the PCM. And let's see if we can get in here. Now, I had a big surprise when I opened up this wiring harness. This was uh, taped up all the way to here. Um, someone's been in there before. And I was I had a eureka moment when I saw this wire because I was looking for a dark blue and orange wire and I thought for sure that's my problem that was going to one of the solenoids um, let's see if we can zoom in here okay where are we at purple orange so I was looking for that purple orange and orange and yellow so I got a pinout diagram of the PCM and long story short basically that's my cam and crank sensor wire this these two wires here are the cam and crank I'm sorry one's the cam one's the crank I don't know which one this bare wire I guess it's a ground I tried to open it up to see where it goes but it goes all the way down I have no idea. Maybe if anyone out there knows what in the world this could be for, let me know. I do know that someone used, I think they had a tuner put in this car. I've owned this car for like 13 years. Never knew this was under there. But, back to the subject at hand. So let's see if I can get some light over here. And I'll let my camera adjust. So, uh, this is going to be for one of the shift solenoids here. This purple wire, this orange and yellow, is uh, for the other shift solenoid. Um, we come in here. I was lucky enough that the... Uh, I'm going to also be, be probing those two red wires. Actually, this one, that's the common 
feed. That is this red feed feeding all the solenoids. Okay, so let's do some electrical testing on these electron electrical components inside the transmission. We're going to test um, shift solenoid one, shift solenoid two, and we're going to test this electric pressure control solenoid. We're not really going to be concerned with the uh, torque converter clutch or the transmission fluid sensor. Both of those refine on my scan tool and there's no problem with the torque converter locking up. Um, so once we have these wire colors here, and also this is going to help us as well, this number 1 and number 27. Let's come over here to our pinout and uh, circuit number 1. is number 315 that's our purple and orange wire and right below it is our 237 our orange and yellow wire now this picture it's kinda hard to tell so we're gonna go by some coding here we're gonna look for a pink and lime green yellow black and purple and orange um, that's what uh, Mr. Paul Scanner Danner taught us to do is is use some coding there so let's come up here and this may be hard to see I'm gonna try and get you guys some decent light on the subject so there's our purple and orange and those uh, other wires there they do match up to our coding you're just gonna have to take my word on it it's a little hard to see in there but that's how you just want to make sure you're on the right pins so we're gonna move on we're gonna do some resistance resistance testing on this stuff here 